Hey everybody, today we're going to uh, discuss induced drag and uh, we'll go over this little drawing I have made up. Induced drag, a byproduct of lift. Okay, uh, You see I have a, an airfoil drawn there and uh, you see the relative wind over here and it's bending. Okay, The reason it's bending is because it's being influenced by the wingtip vortices. Okay, Wingtip vortices are basically what creates induced drag. Um, wingtip vortices cause relative wind to bend okay and lift is always perpendicular to relative wind and as the uh, relative wind bends downward like I've drawn it here the vector of lift is shifted aft okay and when you break that lift vector down into its component vectors you have the the lift that's actually keeping the airplane up in the air here and you have induced drag right here that I have the arrow drawn to okay so um, real important thing, I'm going to say it again, real important thing to remember is wing to vortices are, are causing the relative wind to bend downward as, uh, as it flows over the wing, as it approaches the wing. And that bending of the relative wind causes uh, the lift to be shifted aft slightly. And that's because lift is always perpendicular to relative wind. Lift is always perpendicular to relative wind. And that rearward component vector is our drag, which is induced by the creation of lift. It would not exist if we weren't creating lift. That's why they say it's a byproduct of lift. Okay. Now, on the next side here, um, one of the questions that you'll get on a check ride or on a written exam from the FAA is uh, when is induced drag the greatest? Induced drag is the greatest when we are slow. Okay. So I have. Uh, the drag curve drawn here. We have our induced drag here, we have our parasitic drag here, we have our total drag here, and you can see that we are way up high when we are really slow. This is speed, this is drag or thrust required. As we are slow, induced drag is greatest, parasitic drag is least. Okay, And as we increase speed, our induced drag goes down. Okay. That's because our wing to vortices decrease as we go faster. Okay, and just to point out right here, this is a LD max. That's a, our minimum drag airspeed. Okay, so uh, this is the the drag curve, LD max. But it's drawn basically just to show you that induced drag is highest when we're slow. All right. Well, uh, thanks for watching. I hope this uh, maybe explains induced drag a little bit better for you. And if you have any questions, feel free to uh, ask or uh, comment. Thanks.